Now this is a special delivery. Moving right ahead with the heads cabin sole. Back to the subject of the shower sump. Well, this has all worked out much better. Stage three of the painting plan. Now this is a special delivery. I've finally taken receipt of my 200 amp Enerdrive lithium battery. Woo! This is a lithium sulfite battery and being a lithium battery of course it's got way way more usable energy compared to the flooded batteries. So this will be the house battery for house purposes use and as you might have seen I've got all of that wiring ready to connect this up. So now it's let's unbox time. For those who recall in prior episodes, I had problems with this turn latch holding the distribution panel closed. It took me a long time to try and come up with a solution for that. And as it turned out, as I had said in a subsequent video, it had been pointed out to me that there is actually a way to do these latches so that they function properly and do their job. So what I did do is I took the trouble to correct that. As you might notice, things that I'm discovering that I'm not happy with, I am correcting along the way. And I've done that with this panel. So the next few clips show how I've actually problem solved that. The solution was quite easy. I wish I'd have known about it right from the get-go. Well, moving right ahead with the heads cabin sole. I've had this piece in mistress just to make sure the fit is good. It did need a couple of small trims on the aft end here. So I've just done that with a circular saw to get those to be a better fit and make nice clean cuts. The other thing I've done is I've made this little block, which is for supporting that aft end as well. I'll bond that to the hull. So once that's had the corners all rounded, That'll go through the epoxy process and then I can bond that in place. And then after that, the next thing I'll be doing is on the underside, all of those edges, I'm going to use the trimmer with the round off bit to make a nice rounded edge for two reasons. The first one of which is really for that edge of the cabin sole that is against the hull. When it comes to cleaning the hull there in the future, I figure a nice deep rounded corner would be kinder on your fingers if you're cleaning there rather than one that's not as rounded. The second reason is in the event 
and unlikely event of that, that any water might be coming down the hull and then need to make its way to the bilge. Having that rounded off just makes a slightly larger gap, which I thought is just a better idea. But saying that, that edge does not actually touch the hull. I did make it so that there's a gap because I didn't want any contact between the sole and the hull wearing paint off. But I think just rounding that off will make a nice neat gap. The top will remain where it is, so it'll give the width. And as I've said before, this will be fiberglassed in place. So once it's all ready to go back into Mistress, I'll be bonding it in place with Fix 15, and then I'll be making up a batch of epoxy filler to cove right around the perimeter, and then a layer of fiberglass to seal it all. This needs to be watertight for obvious reasons. Of course, in this space, which will be a wet room, I don't want water to be leaking out of here, needing to make its way to the bilge. So it will be fiberglassed in place to make it watertight. Back to the subject of the shower sump, I'm really keen to get this marked out where I want it to be and then get it cut out so that I can get this whole cabin sole piece in place. There'll be quite a bit of work to do after it's in place. As I've mentioned, it's got to be fiberglass, but it's just something I've been really keen to get in place. I think because all the other cabin sole pieces are done. I've just got to finalise where I'm going to put this. Once I've worked out exactly where I want this and how it's going to be fitted, I'll make that cut out and then get to work to get it finished so that it can go in to Mistress. Well, this has all worked out much better. I was originally thinking that I was going to site this sump box in this bay here, closest to the bulkhead. But after opening it and realizing that what I had in mind as far as a lid on top, which would match the size of the box, and that the box would have the fitting brackets already in place to be able to mount that box up underneath, some sort of sole. In other words, it's not designed for fitting underneath a sole or some sort of flooring. It really is designed so that it sits down on top of something. That's actually been a blessing in disguise because a number of things have completely changed what my plan's going to be now. Instead of having it in this bay, right below where I was going to site the drain, which would have been pretty much between your feet. Now, because of how I need to mount this box, I'm going to shift it to this next bay over. And what that'll mean is the drain can also be here. Just two elbows will direct it to the sump box, but there'll be no need to drill holes in any of the floors in order to collect the water and also to discharge it. And also the power for that can be run in the same section and disappear under the cabinetry here. So as I say, that has been a blessing in disguise, making things much simpler. So really all I need to do now is make some sort of complex curved base plate. I'll make that out of rosewood as normal, fully epoxy coat that of course, bond that to the hull floor itself, and then that box and its brackets can just screw to that base plate. And two other things with that, because I'm not gonna be mounting it right below where the drain is, I will be able to sight it as you see here, which will be straddling beneath this bulkhead, which means that when it comes to any sort of servicing or maintenance to clean the strainer, replace a pump, check the wiring, whatever the case may be, the access for that is simply a matter of removing that cabin sole piece in that companionway there, and that will give full access. That means that now I just need a small hole with some sort of conventional shower grate and fitting, which will be discreet, and the plumbing will disappear into the sump.
Well, stage three of the painting plan. As you know, I've done the saloon, that galley area back into cabin three. Now it's time to get on with all of this aft area. I've got some remaining bits to do in cabin three. For example, there's the bulkhead right where the cabin entry is. I'm going to be sanding both sides of that panel. However, only the inside face will be white. The other side that you'll see from the saloon area, the galley area, and basically the companionway, I'm going to leave that clear. The same that I'm doing for that main bulkhead around the heads area and this end galley panel. I'll be doing the same with this bulkhead separating the nav and cabin three. So this side here, I'll sand that, but that will be clear finished. And then on the other side, white. I think it's a good idea to have a white scheme inside of these aft cabins. Given that there's not full head height room, you do have to sort of squat down to get in there and having it white will just give that look of things being more open. Also, while I'm back here, that main lazarette panel, that's gonna get sanded and painted white on both sides. So I'm going all the way aft to get all of the painting done in this whole aft area. And of course, in this nav area here, there's paintwork to do as well. And what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna have the same sort of scheme. In other words, there'll be some white and some clear. So these rather, in my opinion, ugly lining panels, that's all gonna be white. But this nice little bit of bulkhead in the shelving area, and the shelves themselves, I think that will look nice, keeping that clear. The same's gonna be true for this leaf panel in the nav desk. I'm gonna make that clear as well. And of course, it'll be offset against the white and some finish trim in rosewood. So there's quite a lot of little fiddly bits. Oh, that reminds me. There's one other little strip underneath this seat here that's going to get sanded and painted white as well but over this whole aft area there are quite a few little sort of fiddly bits so it will be a combination of the orbital sander and hand sanding with and without a block
the good boat work progress continues everybody and part two of the stage three top coating comes up in the next episode well another pivotal moment in the fit out progress of mistress it's time to get that sole piece in for the heads here so now that these tops are going in for good Can I ask you to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and please check out my website. And of course, leave a comment because I like reading what you have to say. 